welcome to dr arkes classes today i am going to discuss the important steps that are involved in deriving the expression for apparent frequency in case of doppler effect so let us first define what is doppler effect the apparent change in the frequency of a sound or light by an observer when there is relative motion between source and observer is called doppler effect that is when the source is at rest observer is at rest if nu not is the frequency of the source and the frequency observed by observer is also nu not but when the source are observer in motion the frequency observed by the observer is different from nu not okay let us derive the expression for this apparent frequency let t not and v are the time period and velocity of sound waves okay emitted by source s yes. that is vs is the velocity of source away from observer and l is the distance between observer and source at t is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 the source emits the first wave that is first crest or compression it reaches the observer after time t1 is equal to l by v what is l the distance between the source and observer at t is equal to 0 after time t not what is t not the time period of the source after time t not the source emits the second wave or second crest it reaches the observer in time t not plus l plus vs t not by v because vs into t not is the distance traveled in time t not so if we generalize it after n waves after emission of n waves t is equal to n t not the source emits n plus 1th crust it reaches the observer at time n t not plus l plus vs n t not by v Okay. we can generalize it then the time interval between the two successive waves or crust that, that is the time period as observed by the observer if i simplify i will get t not plus vs by v into t not that is if you simplify this is a form that is the time period of the sound as observed by observer is equal to t not into v plus vs by v here v is the velocity of sound vs is the velocity of the source t not is the time period of the source sound we know that the reciprocal of time period is the frequency if i convert the reciprocal of time period is the frequency so this formula is approximately nu is equal to what is nu the frequency of the sound or light as observed by the observer and nu not is the the frequency of the sound okay we'll get nu is equal to nu not into 1 minus vs by v okay similarly when the source is moving towards observer the source is moving towards observer t is equal to t not into v minus vs by v and if if you take the reciprocal approximately you will get frequency nu is equal to nu not into 1 plus vs by v let us discuss the doppler effect when the observer is in motion that is the observer is moving towards source with a velocity v not let t not is the time period of the sound wave v not is the velocity of observer toward the source v is the velocity of the sound and l is the distance between the observer and the source at t is equal to 0 at t is equal to 0 the source emits the first crest or first wave or compression it reaches the observer at time l by v plus v not l by v plus v not at time t not that means after one time period the source emits the second wave or compression crust or some compression it reaches the observer at time t2 is equal to t not plus v minus v not t not by v plus v not if i generalize for after n waves 
at t is equal to nt not the source emits n plus 1 crust it reaches the observer at time nt not plus l minus v not nt not by v plus v not now the time interval between the two successive is if i calculate the time period okay, that is t minus uh, t2 minus t1 then i will get t is equal to t not into v by v plus v not similarly the reciprocal of frequency the time period is the frequency we will get this formula that is the observed frequency nu is equal to u not into v plus v not by v similarly when the observer is moving away from the source then nu is equal to nu not into v minus v not by v so plus v not is replaced by minus v not please subscribe for more videos thank you